I'm a person that has an awful lot of juice. How many people do you know that really raced cars, that really sung on platinum albums, the lead actor in two films? Everyone in California wants to be an actor, and we were really struggling. I was like, okay, when are you gonna get a real job? I started off at a young age and said, I wanna do everything. He's a starving wannabe actor-singer, and we got a baby coming. The accident probably shouldn't have happened. I started turning the corner, and the corner kept going. The corner kept going, and I remember saying to myself, just don't hit that mailbox. I just knew it was bad. The doctor says, your husband's paralyzed. It was what I call one of God's curveballs. Unfortunately, uh, with this paralysis, he suffers a, a great deal of pain. It is the monster from hell. There is no such thing as toughing it out, fight through it, and all that bullshit. Because that's what it is. I got the necessary parts together to, 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 and to pull the plug. And then Scott. He mentioned that uh, he would like to get back into a race car again. He would uh, have it modified with hand controls and he'd like to drive other patients around. I got the needle to the red on the foot on the floor. And the way he described it, he uh, needed this to live. Get ready to go. So it all just kind of came together. Uh, admittedly, I've never seen him drive at all. It may uh, crash and burn, I don't know. Here's where the pixie dust comes in and the fast gene. Mike tells me that he'll have that car going 180 miles an hour around the track. I tell him, no, you're not. It's a lot of money, a lot of people involved. Don't worry, I'll do just fine. I have the pixie dust, so it doesn't matter what vehicle I get in. He is a dreamer. That's who he is. So you kind of got to let him dream his dreams. Yeah.